Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. So I just tried to do this uh, and I think that uh, something I did might have uh, broken the stream because I think YouTube found out that I was pinging their website from this IP address too many times. So I fixed my chat scrape not to do that. Um, but the idea is that this is a basic software that I just want to kind of introduce to you guys because I've just put it live on GitHub. So it should be in the description right now. You can go check it out. Uh, and the idea is it's, it's going to be kind of like this big, uh, multi-useful tool for live streaming. Um, so right now, uh, we've got two-factor authentication with YouTube, so you can automatically go get uh, the any live stream that you've got going on right now. We can scrap the chat, uh, we can scrap, we can scrape the chat so we can get all this chat from uh, the YouTube live chat in real time. Uh, and also we can get uh, and any details you want about the uh, current broadcast, right? So you can get, uh, you know, what, how long it's been going for, the name of it, stuff like that. And we'll use all of that right now. So go ahead and open this up. And now if I go into uh, OBS Studio and I'll reveal this window capture. Okay, now it's going to be recording here. So if it looks like it's repeating, this is just in the Godot editor here. Uh, let me see, repeat, whatever. Forget about that actually. Okay, but like, let's see. There we go, okay, now you can't see it. So it's a little less confusing. So here's this window right here. And then right here, this is what's actually being broadcasted in OBS Studio. So if I go on the app here, you'll see that it puts in, I can interact with it. So the idea is that you have to have two monitors for this to work right now, although you could potentially get it working uh, within OBS Studio itself. Uh, I'm not doing that because it's much more difficult, but uh, you could just export it as HTML and if you can get that working, there you go. Um, Okie doke. So here's the deal. It's like, so I'll start the stream right now and I'll say, I'll introduce the first thing, which is the task manager, okay? And we'll add that there. And I'll go ahead and hit start. And by the thing, by the boom, we got go. And then also what you can do here is kind of, so this is basically, it's one, a to-do list, right, obviously. But uh, two is that it lets the users know what I'm working on. Three is that it automatically makes a chapters printout uh, when I'm done with the stream. And uh, right now it just, I copy and paste it, which is easy enough for me, but I can pretty easily figure it out how I could just go, uh, because I have the YouTube API and post the, uh, whatever the chapters printout is to the description of this live track or this live stream. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So you can see right now it says active. Uh, we can stop it anytime by clicking. Uh, this is the current stream time and this is the task manager or this is the uh, one task. Now, what else do I wanna talk about in this video? Um, so two factor, we'll just say OAuth 2.0, okay? That's something I wanna talk about. And then, uh, I mean, I guess that's it. <laughs> Not a whole lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty quick little stream. But anyway, so here's the task manager. Uh, so if I go down here to chapters and click on this, this is not typically something that you'll actually see as a as a user, but uh, you know it's pretty cool. And uh, as you can see right here, um, we've this, this shows some old file that I made. It's kind of just a test file, and it shows that uh, you know I, I did this, and then it made the chapters format for me. So I can copy and paste this into the description, and it's automatically going to divide my video up into chapters. Um, so it's really only for creators, but this is pretty helpful. Uh, so this will store all of them by default. It's going to be um, the, uh, actually, I guess by the end we'll do something else, but anyway, uh, by default, it's just going to be the date, but it also is going to grab it because this one wasn't made while I was live streaming, but this one that I make while I am live streaming will have the title of the live stream there. Uh, and then, so this is just a little file manager I made, allows you to see this, uh, and then you can delete these, choose okay or cancel, of course. Um, and, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Okay. So that's it for uh, the task manager basic, and I'm going to go over, uh, getting the chapter layout. Okay, uh, so we'll click complete. Uh, now, well here, we'll go over chat scraping as well. Okay, so we're gonna start on this. So uh, obviously, of course, you can go out of order, which is really handy. Right now you can start two um, at the same time. Uh, I think that's something I'd rather have than not have and just be aware of it. But anyway, so if we go over to my live chat right now, on my other monitor and I put in like anything into the chat. So I'm putting this into the live chat. You're gonna see it pop up down here in Godot. Or you should, is it not running? Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, that's weird that that took so long to update. But uh, yeah, okay. So usually it's it's much it's much quicker than that. But as you can see, it got my uh, chat in live uh, uh, real time. So obviously the advantage to that is that you can make games that take stuff from the chat. It typically goes a lot faster than that. I'm honestly a little confused why that took so long. Let's try another one. It might be because I'm not posting them fast enough for my computer to um, the thing. Also, my Wi-Fi might not be fantastic right now. But anyway, the point is that it scrapes it and it's doing this automatically, right? I didn't have to press any button. It's doing that. If anyone's watching right now, you can post something in the chat and it should pop up right here live on my screen. Um, and so obviously that opens up tons of possibilities. You can make just a little uh, chat app that shows all the chats if you wanted to do something that simple. And then you could, of course, customize that to your liking. Uh, also, you can make games that run on what people say. So that's what I would like to do. Uh, as a minimum, I'm going to make like a chat, or not chat, a uh, trivia game where the chat basically answers, kind of like HQ, uh, essentially. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. So that's going to be cool. And that is basically all I want to talk about, about chat scraping. So we can say that we're done with that. Uh, and then now we can go to uh, move on to two-factor authentication. Okay. So in order to get the chat screen to work like this automatically and to just take advantage of all the things of the YouTube API that allows us to go uh, and get stuff about those broadcasts, you're going to need to go to your Google Dev Console. So if you don't know, just go Google Dev Console. Just Google that. First link here. Okay. And then you need to make sure I'm clicking on the correct one. Go here. Okay, it's, as long as you have a Google account, which of course are free to make, you can come in here and you can go to credentials, okay? And you can make a two-factor authentication thing really, really easy. Um, yeah, just click create credential, credentials and do this. And then you click the download button, download OAuth client, okay? And this will download a JSON that says clients underscore secrets or client underscore secret dot JSON. Now, the idea of that is then you just take that file and click and drag it into this directory OAuth2. That's all you have to do. Uh, and I think that's important to kind of explain that because that is what it's going to require for you to do two-factor authentication. So um, because I've already done this, it's not gonna take me through all the steps. It's just gonna automatically refresh my two-factor authentication token. But if you haven't done it and you've done it for the first time, what this will actually do is open up a new Chrome window uh, and do you know what you've probably seen a million times when you've used any app and say, you know, you know, what's your username, what's your password, Do, would you like to allow access to this app? This is what they're requesting access to. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Um, also, if, th if that's all you're interested in, it might be worth it to check this out because I got that all working. Now that's using Python um, because I couldn't get it working in pure GDScript, but uh, I left that code in there that I got very close, basically, where I was getting the token back, but I couldn't, I had no way of intercepting that token because I don't really understand uh, HTTP well enough to kind of jank my way around it in, in uh, Godot scripts limited you know libraries so uh, there's that uh, but that is essentially all I want to talk about for two-factor authentication that's how you get that done so now I'll go ahead and say that that is completed uh, and now we'll go over to getting the chapter layout here uh, because now we are gonna go ahead and say that we are essentially finished with the well actually I actually don't think I can uh, fully actually show you how to do this because basically it is this right but the the problem is that when we say getting uh, yeah actually this will work okay so I'll start this um, and then I'll just go ahead and stop it right so that doesn't matter so here are all the things you can scroll through them if you'd like and then what we do up here on street time is hit stop now typically you would do this when it's all over right um, but I'm gonna do this this way so I can show you what's happening here you can see I've got the name of the stream. So we've got live chat uh, scraper like this. I can change the stream uh, if I want. Okay. Uh, and then it says input the final stream duration. So I know that this, so I can go to actually where I go to YouTube. And then there we are right there. Okay. And so what I'll do, uh, this is pretty cool, this is pretty meta, uh, what I'll do is actually go down here and get the total chat live stream. And I'll put that in here. I'll put that in, well you guys can't see, I'll put that in right here. And the purpose of doing that 
is so that uh, this, we can correct these times. So the times that are you're seeing right here are not technically correct because we hit the start button up here. Uh, I, I mean, I can't even see it right now. We hit the start button up here when, uh, you know, after the stream had started. So by putting in your actual stream duration from YouTube, I made a little algorithm that basically calculates the correct times for all these guys. Um, and then so that way it creates the chapters just like we saw uh, previously, right? And then, um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Uh, and then I'll, I'll just post that in the description. Again, this is all, all the stuff is linked on GitHub. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, let me know, uh, hop on my Discord, do anything like that. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do this stuff right now. Thanks for watching. Actually, let's see if anyone commented.